time to drop the cue. Okay, here we got a question from, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw you an applause, Jenny. Mm -hmm. Jenny says, how do you store your wigs if you know that it will be a long time before you wear them again? Jenny, I store them all back in their original box. I do. And if, if they give, I, I do kind of fold them inside out. Generally, how you receive that wig, if it's inside out, that is your indication to know it's best to store it inside out. You know, if it comes right side out and it's got some tissue that's up in there, that's an indication. That's probably the best way to store that particular wig. So I do kind of try to make note and I'll store it like that. And if there's box hair that you're dealing with, if it's been in that box for a long time, A, you should probably evaluate why is it in that box a long time? You know, do I need to sort of purge my collection and maybe try to sell it or give it to a friend or donate it? I need to start thinking along those lines myself. I have several like this one that I find myself not reaching for. I'm a little crazy going on here. Um, this is Going Places by Raquel Welch. I have two of these. I have Shaded Biscuit, which is this one. And I have uh, one in... Uh, Shady Cappuccino, I believe. Never wear them. Um, and I really need to really evaluate why. Try to make it work first. Maybe I need to use some heat to it because they're heat friendly. Maybe I, they'll look better or I'll feel better about them if they're straightened a little bit or I alter it in some way with heat. Got to figure it out because if not, I'm going to have to do one of those things and purge that style from my collection. But I mean, this is fine. I have headphones on and it's, 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 it's great. Maybe that's what we need to do. Maybe we all need to get some headphones and the, the styles that we just can't contend with, we just put these on. I'm telling you, <laughs> it works for me for the time we're doing this. Anyway, yeah, I do. And then you can set them out, you know, get a, get a rack. Do I have one of them out here? No, I don't. Get a rack and, uh, or whatever you use to, to put your wigs out on and have it sit there for a couple of days. That's going to help a lot with the box hair that may have happened. Uh, and that's what I do. And I don't generally have too big of a problem if it's a wig that I've been wearing and then I, you know, do it inside out and then I'm, put it away. I generally don't have box hair. If there's box hair, it's because the box hair never went away when I first got it. But I guess it depends on how long it's sitting in that box, how it was put in that box. I do like the idea of putting a little tissue under there. But I notice that happens or they they will do the tissue more if it's right side in rather than the other way. Anyway, okay. Sorry. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. I have to do this again. Anna says, I have a wig that has a lot of volume at the top where the permatease is, but it is a lot of hair. Is there anything to reduce that look of so much hair? Well, there are just some wigs that just have a lot of hair. And it's hard for me to say what's going on there with that particular wig. Permatease is very tricky if you decide you're going to thin it out. Honestly, I don't have a lot of experience with thinning wigs. Uh, I don't do it very often. I'm very ca just super careful when I do it. I have ruined a wig and before and I had to throw it away. It doesn't take much thinning to make a big difference. So if you decide to thin any wig, you go super really carefully, very small, you know, take the skinniest little section and then take the comb and just kind of go in and out and then pull that out and then thin that. I'm telling you, it doesn't take much to make a big difference. Now with permatease though, Permatease, you got to be careful if you're thinning it because you may run into a situation where now you really can see the permatease, uh, even if it's just the littlest bit. I'm telling you, it doesn't take much before you thin too much. Uh, so if it's the top that's the issue, thinning right up there, especially if it's around the part, is not recommended, actually. Um, so if it's the top of the, the piece that just looks like it's too much, Huh. It's just one of those things I think that your eye is going to have to get used to. Um, I know when I first got Ignite back in 2017, I think, that wig I had the hardest time getting used to. And then it turned out to be my favorite wig, but it took a long time. 
and I just had to embrace it. And I and I do love permatees. Well, I don't love permatees, but I do like it. Uh, it it'll help a style stay. You know, I I I'm not afraid of big hair. I like good lift in the crown. I, I like the fibers to be up and off the cap. So a, 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 some permatees is, if it's well done, I love it because it does that for me. It won't fall through the day. So there's a lot of great things about permatees, but like Noriko, they go a little crazy with their permatees. So, you know, I'm gonna think about Reese right now. Uh, she will look like a pineapple in no time, just, you know, and that's a lot. So. I'd have to tamper down with, um, well, now headphones, you know, maybe I'll wear her, uh, but a headband, you know, I, I have, have to wear a headband in Reese or something. Absolutely. She will grow through the day. And uh, so maybe that would be your solution. Maybe try putting a headband on or rolling and doing a clip or, or you know, Try messing it up with some extra accessories. I do that all the time with wigs. And it can vary from day to day and from time to time that I wear it. I'll wear one wig and have no issues with it and be just fine and feel confident. Next time I wear that wig, same same wig, I feel like, oh, God, I, need, I, need to, I feel like I need to do something today with it. So I'll put a headband in or I'll roll it and, you know, do a bobby pin and just kind of reduce that puffiness so that may be your solution again for me sorry guys this thing starts coming at me and before i know it i feel like i'm way, I'm way back there but yeah that that is my solution and on a daily level where it, it's just got to be me kind of like the mood i'm in or something so try try working with some accessories with wigs like that oh see there she goes living i don't know where you went i don't know why i said that but <laughs>